fatty snacks everywhere. That's like all it is when you're on keto. And the hard part with fatty snacks is they're super high in calories. So it's like, even if I wanted to just go have a little handful of macadamia nuts, I'm looking at like 200 calories. It's like snacks end up being super caloric. So I wanted to put together a short list of snacks that are under 100 calories on keto. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not the biggest fan of snacking throughout the day. I think you should consolidate your meals. But sometimes you need to have periods of time where you just have lower calories and lower amounts of fat. So I'm gonna break it all down for you. And I've got a good logic and a good reason behind it. In fact, it's a logic that's allowed me to burn a lot more fat. And quite honestly, it's a logic that's helped a lot of people I work with get in a lot better shape. And it's quite simple. So I'll get to it in one second. But first, you're tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel with new videos on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. I also wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell icon so you can turn on notifications. That way you know whenever I go live or post a new video. Okay, so I call this whole principle of having periods of time with lower fat the protein sandwich hypothesis. Now, I've done another video on that, but we don't need to go into detail there. The simple process is normally we're feeding a lot of fats on a keto diet. We're always consuming these fats. So the body is conditioned to use fats for fuel because we're feeding it more fats, right? So it's like, give me fat, give me fat, and I will burn it. But occasionally, my hypothesis is that you need to deprive your body of fats temporarily so that your body has no choice but to look to your own stored fat for energy. It's like, you give it fat, you give it fat, you give it fat, and then you temporarily take fat away and it's gonna say, whoa, where is it at? And it's gonna start pulling it from your body fat stores. It's miraculous and it's really worked well for me. Every time I feel like I'm stalling on keto, I rip out the fats for a little bit of time, like for one or two meals, and it's like my body, my waist just shrivels up. It's crazy. So anyway, here's four simple low calorie, low fat snacks that you can have. Like you replace your lunch with them, or just have them as a snack, whatever. The first one, packets of tuna. Okay, not cans of tuna, okay? Here's the thing. I'm not the biggest fan of tuna in the world, but when it comes down to a portable, easy snack, it is still okay. The hard part is, don't do it in the can, okay? The canned tuna ends up having to have a lot of heat applied to it, which denatures the proteins, but it also allows some of the BPAs and some of the other components in those metals to leach into the fish. It's also super important that you don't have the albacore. I know it tastes a tiny bit better and it's a little bit more solid, but the albacore is the one that's high in the mercury. The chunk light is the one that has a lot less. And I don't even care what brand you go for, but the chunk light has three times less mercury in it than albacore, okay? So you definitely wanna go for that. It's less dense. It's also easier to metabolize. So because the pouch isn't heated, you end up with a full spectrum protein that's actually pretty darn good for you. Now, I mean, the downside is you have to open up a packet of tuna, which isn't always the most appealing thing to those around you, but if you're by yourself, it works out pretty darn well. Uh, the other thing is tuna is super high in selenium, okay, a specific mineral that we become very deficient in when we're in keto. So this is very good for your thyroid, which is ultimately good for your metabolism, and super good for modulating inflammation via the nuclear factor kappa B pathway. So chunk light tuna in a packet, not a can. There's like 70 calories in one of those little packets. It's perfect, okay? The next one is Greek yogurt or Bulgarian yogurt, but Greek yogurt is usually more portable in one of those 0% ones, okay? So non-fat Greek yogurt. We're talking 90 calories in a six ounce tub of it. Super low fat. Now, sure, it is dairy. I'm not the biggest fan of dairy. However, I will say that the bacteria component, the probiotic effect, does counteract some of the inflammatory components of dairy, okay? Now, what I usually do in order to kind of get my fix with Greek yogurt is I'll take Greek yogurt and then I'll take one of those like healthy organic dip mixes, like a ranch dip mix or a green onion dip mix, and I'll mix it with fat-free yogurt. You see, you're supposed to mix it with mayonnaise or sour cream. Obviously, that's a lot of calories. You can mix the stuff with fat-free yogurt and still get the same effect. So then I have celery that I can dip into that ranch. It's perfect, but the ranch is made with Greek yogurt. So we're talking 90 calories in a whole six ounce tub, and I'm not even gonna go through all that. Like a couple dips with some celery, and I'm good to go. So we've got tuna, we've got 0% fat Greek yogurt, now the next thing I wanna talk about is some kind of like turkey meat stick, okay? Now personally, I'm a fan of Chomps. I think they've done a really good job because they've got 70 calories in these little sticks. Okay, they've done a good job of making sure that it's non-GMO project verified and that they're anti-inflammatory, but also seasoned with sea salt instead of just cruddy iodized salt. So really good stuff there. Now when you go with like a turkey stick, you're obviously getting a complete protein, but you're not getting it with the high fat content you're normally gonna find in beef jerky. Additionally, when beef jerky is dried, it can be pretty tough and hard to digest. Now, beef sticks are okay too. Chomps make some amazing beef sticks and I'm definitely a huge fan of them, but they're a little bit higher calories. So when you're talking about a turkey stick, 
you've got 70 calories, and Chomps has nailed it with this. And you know, might be a little bit biased because I like them and they're a big fan of this channel too. So maybe I'm a little bit biased, but the fact is they are awesome, awesome products. So there's a special link down in the description for anyone that wants to try Chomps. And that way you can have an on the go travel snack to get just super lean, super clean protein without any of the hidden nasties that are normally in beef jerky, none of the gluten, none of that stuff. So the cool thing is the whole reason we're bringing these fats down at this point in time is so that we can still get a little bit of calories in so we're keeping our metabolism going a little bit, but we're allowing the body to still want to tap into our stored fat. So you have a little bit of Greek yogurt, or you have a little bit of tuna, or you have one of these chopsticks, and your body's still able to tap into its stored fat. Therefore, you're still keeping on that fat burning mission. The next one that is a good low calorie snack is one that I've talked about in other videos, and that is having asparagus with a little bit of nutritional yeast on it. Okay, so you take a little bit of asparagus, you cook it up, like maybe six, seven stalks, there's like 27 calories in a few stalks. Okay, you can cut it up or you can just leave it straight up and put a little bit of nutritional yeast on it. Okay, the cool thing with the nutritional yeast, super high B12, so you're actually getting a nice energy boost from it, but you're getting a lot of fiber and you're getting some really darn good taste too. So that's what I love about that stuff. So perfect, easy snack. You don't have to add fat to it. You can add coconut oil to it, but literally, the asparagus is gonna create enough moisture when you cook it that you can literally just add the nutritional yeast and a little bit of salt, stir it up, and you're good. So you've got four really simple, low fat, low calorie, under 100 calorie snacks, or possibly even meal replacements. So you could use these in lieu of lunch. Let's say if you're not that hungry, but you just wanna have a snack, don't necessarily just reach for the macadamia nuts or the almonds because you're gonna end up at three, 400 calories before you know it. If you go for this, you can employ sort of my philosophy with the protein sandwich hypothesis, but also get some good tasting stuff. So again, there's a special discount for those of you that wanna try Chomps. Again, I appreciate them being a fan of this channel and sponsor this channel. So if you check them out down in the description, you can get a special link. So huge thank you and thank you to you for supporting this channel. And as always, if you have ideas for more videos, put them down below. See you soon.